Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to upload ebook to Shopify. Once you have created your Shopify account, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select apps. After tapping on apps, you're going to tap on all recommended apps. Then at the bottom of the page, you're going to tap on Shopify App Store. After selecting Shopify App Store, I want you to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and from here you are just going to type in digital products. So you can select digital downloads or you can select digital products. Once you have done that you will be redirected to this page and all of these apps can be used to sell digital products. But the one that I recommend you use is big digital downloads. So you are going to select that and it can be installed for completely free. And with this plan, you will be able to get your first 15 orders and you can upload up to three products. So what you're going to do, you're going to tap on install. After selecting install, you will be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on install once more. Now that you have done that, you're going to be redirected to the big digital download dashboard. Once on this dashboard, I will be showing you what to do next. Once on the dashboard, you'll normally see the option to select a plan and I would normally tap on skip. After you have tapped on skip, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Then we're going to tap on create my first digital product. After you have done that, you can enter your ebook name. So for example, I'll just call it test book. So I'll type that in right here. After you have done that, you can see customers will get access to and you can choose whether it is a digital file plus license key. We're just going to be selecting digital file and you can scroll down and we're going to leave it at digital file. If you would like to limit the download in time, you can do that. You can also limit download per order if you want. So if you'd like them to only be able to order one book, you can simply tap right there. And for example, we can set it at one max per order. So we don't want them to be downloading multiple copies of our ebook. Once you have done that, you can scroll down and you can see the option notify previous customers when files slash links are updated. So you could do that if you want. Once you have done that, you would upload the ebook file right here. And by the way, a good platform to create an ebook if you don't have one already would be Canva. All you'll need to do is go onto Canva and you can create an account for completely free. Then from there, you could type in ebook. After you have done that, you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. Keep in mind, any one of the templates that you see with the crown that says pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular template. But there are numerous templates that you could use for free. For example, let's say this template. Once you have selected the template, you can simply use it as an outline and you can enter in your information. So what I would recommend you do is tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to tap on download. After you have tapped on download from here, you can change the format. So for example, you could change it from PNG and from there you could select PDF. So you can select either PDF standard or PDF print. We can select either one of these options. Then you're going to tap on download. Once it has been downloaded, what I want you to do next, you're going to go back into Shopify. And then from there, you'll see the option drag and drop your selected file. We're going to select it right here. Then you're going to tap on open. After you have tapped on open, you'll see a copy of it on the right hand column as you can see right here. Now that you have added your file, what I want you to do next, you're going to go back into Canva or whichever platform that you have used and you're going to simply copy or better yet save your ebook cover. So we're going to tap on share once more and we're just going to be selecting the first page. So we'll select page one, then tap on done and we're going to be downloading the page cover as a PNG file. Once you have done that, you're going to go back into Shopify and once in Shopify, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select products and you're going to open it in a new link. Then I want you to tap on add product in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, you can enter in your ebook name. 
so again I'm just going to type in test book then from there we'll scroll down and we are going to tap on upload new and this is where you're going to be adding the ebook cover after you have added the ebook cover you can enter in the price that you would like to sell it for so I'm going to be selling my ebook for ten dollars then you can scroll down you're going to toggle off track quantity and you're also going to toggle off this is a physical product they have done that all you'll need to do now is tap on save once you have saved the changes you're going to go back into big digital so let's go back right here and we are going to simply tap on select product at the top of the page after tapping on select product from here you're going to find your product so we'll select test ebook and we're going to tap on add so you can see it right there it has now been added as you can see there now you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner now that you have saved it all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and from the left hand menu option you could tap on orders after tapping on orders from here you'll be able to view your orders Another thing that you can also do by tapping on settings from the left hand menu option from here you can edit the download button you can also scroll down and you can see other features that you can edit for example if you'd like to edit the checkout page you can do that by tapping on checkout you could edit the checkout page as you can see here we have added our ebook all we'll need to do is tap on enable the download page so you're going to tap right there and from there you can tap on post purchase extension so you can enable that then you're going to tap on verify your store and from here you can simply tap right there verify your store for free so limits are lifted and app branding is removed if you would like to do that you can tap on chat with us and you can enter that information right there now that you're finished doing that all you need to do now you could go into your store so if we were to tap on products in the top left hand corner then from there tap on preview and online store you can see how our page looks